I never know when to start these things. Do I do it before I'm clothed? Hair will get better-ish throughout the day. Okay. Gotta shave. Gotta make my face look prettier. I'm using old razors. I'm using old shaving cream. Look at that. Oh, my God. Dollar Shave Club. Want to come through with an awesome sponsorship? The blood just keeps coming. Gross. Superman. Superman. Curl. Oh, now I'm feeling beautiful. It is 11.10. I wanted to leave by 11. <laughs> I was looking for my phone for a second, but... It's right here. Still have not finished unpacking, but we got a futon. What? We got a futon. We can house people now. Not to say they'd like it. Good morning. How are you? It's a beautiful day. I love it too, my son. Everybody say, I love it too. I love it too. Bye-bye for now. How do you like my neighbors? I freaking love them. They're so sweet. All of them. They're all from Armenia. They moved here like 38 years ago. Rent control probably paying like $70 per month. <laughs> I do a cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and a splash of almond milk. David, you seem to be in a rush summer. We have no idea where, though. Inform us. Okay. Yeah. No, sure. I'm going to the Jim Jeffrey show. Last night, it was like 1 a.m., and I couldn't sleep, so I thought, what should I do tomorrow? And I found that I could get premium tickets to... Oh, my God, I forgot to print the tickets. No. They even said, like, print them. Don't... Di oh, my... Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I shouldn't have come to Starbucks, that's for sure. Oh, I forgot. I have to use my phone to pay. I guess that's a fun little thing for people who might not know. All of the tapings, all of, like, the TV show, sitcoms, things like that, that go on in this city, they are free to go to. So if you're ever in Los Angeles... And you have, like, eight hours to spare. Go watch movie magic happen all right now we can go 20 minutes to find parking and then get into the entrance sunset las palmas studio hey here we go here we go let's make a left turn i'm not gonna get hit though don't you worry we have to find street parking which is ugh, not ideal 10 minutes though 11 49 sunset las palmas studios they have a parking lot and everything but i'm not allowed to park there i'm just gonna bite the bullet i almost never do that i park in a two hour parking zone if this goes for more than two hours i'm gonna be severely disappointed the uh, invitation online said like an hour so i shouldn't be super worried <laughs> oh but i am also this is the first taping i've been to where they explicitly said to bring your phone hey how's it oh, going man, how are you? doing how's well you? Uh, it's got video. Can you like do one up, one over? You, you're very particular about your photos, mate. <laughs> well, I'm trying to finally put you on the map. <laughs> I'm on a map. Basically, Google Maps. <laughs> Fingers crossed, though, that could totally be like a $67 taping if I have a ticket right now. And, oh no, I do! I do. There it is. All right, all right, 73. This is street cleaning. This is a street cleaning citation. <laughs> that one was totally avoidable. It's 2.15 on a Tuesday, and I've kind of got nothing going on until 7.30. Let's drive for Lyft. Some people may have been wondering, how do you make money? in such a ridiculous city. I drive people to where they need to go, and in return, they pay me. And I hope it's gonna be a good afternoon of driving, but it's gonna suck, cause like, I know that all the money's just gonna go to the ticket. Actually, first, I'm gonna go find a bathroom. I'm going to Santa Monica and La Brea. They have a Target, they have a Starbucks. Potties galore, which is really, like, that's the, been the biggest problem of driving for Lyft and Postmates and all these other things, is that I'll hit a point in the day where I cannot physically hold anything in. I've become totally incontinent at 22 years old. A little bit. not. I <laughs> Not like a lie. It's like a bup, bup, and I'm like, no, why? I'm an adult. So to avoid that, we find a restroom. And I, uh, I used to be so much better, just like as a person. If I had to go to the bathroom in the past, I would only go there if I was planning on patronizing, if I was going to pay them money. But then I got in the cycle where I would continually buy drinks from a place, have to go to the bathroom, go somewhere, buy a drink there just to spend money. And then rather than just driving people around and making deliveries, I'm going to the bathroom. Like, that's my job. But I was paying other people for it instead of them paying me. And it's 5.40 p.m. now. I'm going to call that a break. Got a couple bananas. I'm kind of regretting it. I wish I had an apple. While we're waiting, though, I have entertainment going on. Podcast listening. You made it weird with Pete Holmes. My man, like super inspirational for this channel actually. <laughs> Going deep in the archives, it's Dave Coulier. Cool. Yay. And we're doing Postmates. We are on delivery right now and stuck in traffic as is the city's way. Cars are passing me on the left. That's the carpool lane. Don't let that be an indicator for what I could be doing right now. And woohoo! 
Ooh, we made a home. Let's set you up on some pillows. Today was like a super LA day. And I didn't mean to do that, but that's just like how the day unfolded. I like days like today, by the way. I slept in a little. I went to a taping of a TV show. I met a famous Australian comedian. Loose quotes on Matt. And probably also on Famous. I struggled to find parking and then got a ticket when I finally found a spot. I tried to find some work in the afternoon. I filmed myself all day. And I ended it all by trying to navigate traffic on the way home. It seems like I'm always getting fan mail anymore, so thank you so much. Especially thank you to those of you who do not put my name on it. I really appreciate that. It'll say like, current resident or your friendly neighbor. I guess you're just trying to throw off the mailman so that they don't know that there's a sort of a celebrity living here. So thank you. Yeah, most, well, mostly coupons. Okay, that's, I mean, that's like a gift almost. It feels like a gift. And how did you know I was looking for razors? You just read my mind. Thank you so much. Um, who is this one from? PNG Brand Saver. I guess that's like your stage name. That's cool. That's fine. Just keep sending it though. Like, I like to read stuff like that. It's nice. But now Rebecca is home. So glad for her. I wouldn't have gotten out of the house if it wasn't for having a significant other that always gets out of the house. Keeps me grounded. I'm gonna finish this pizza. David, you live in Los Angeles, so there's gotta be better pizza. And you're right, but not much better. And certainly not as cheap. But I don't wanna make this one-sided. I wanna ask a quick question of you. In your hometown, what do tourists do? Because that, like, that inspires me. I'll tell you, in my college town, obviously people came for game days. They came to watch college football. In the town I grew up in, I have no idea why people went at all. I hope they're doing all right. But tell me in the comments down below, what's your hometown feel all about? I'm into it. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video itself. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to go. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dogs. Bye.